Alright, this time we're looking at graphing cotangent. So, uh, there are going to be some similarities but some differences. Uh, here's the nice little general pattern for what your cotangent will look like. And then the period is going to be the same as tangent. So, again, the cycle is going to be a little bit shorter. It's just going to be pi over b. Our phase shift is a little bit different also. So, now we're going to use 0 and pi as our bookends. We're still going to need to solve for x. Our divisions will still be the same. The divisions are the same for everyone. And then what you'll notice is that cotangent, negative cotangent is the same as positive cotangent, which uses this pattern right here. And then positive tangent will have the same pattern as negative tangent, which uses that pattern there. Good. Uh, cotangent, the way we can find cotangent in two ways. You can take the reciprocal of tangent, or it's going to be cosine over sine based on your quotient identity. So we start here, this is going to be undefined. We'll get 1 here, 0, negative 1, undefined, 1, 0, negative 1, undefined. So the reason that uh, our phase shift is a little bit different, because again, we're going to go from uh, our undefined value starting here, and we'll rotate all the way around here, and then that's where we're, we're going to end, because that's when our pattern starts to repeat. So undefined, 1, 0, negative 1, undefined, 1, 0, negative 1, undefined. So that's how we're going to graph our nice little cotangent. So let's see if we can't look at an example. So here's our first example. It says y is equal to the cotangent of x plus pi thirds. So again, there is no amplitude because it's not a wave function. So we'll start off by calculating our period. And again, it's going to be pi over b for this one. b is going to be 1. So we just get a value of pi. For your phase shift, it's going to be different. Make sure that you're aware of that then tangent, because tangent we use negative pi halves and pi halves, and this one you're going to do 0 and pi. We're going to solve for our nice little x, so I'll subtract pi thirds. Uh, when we do that, we will get negative pi thirds here, which is less than x, which is less than uh, 2 pi thirds. Again, the distance between these two better be this. I think it is. It's 3 thirds. And then next we're going to find our divisions. So we're going to take our period and divide it by 4. Now, this is going to be pretty crazy, but I know I'm going to have to add this to this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use the common denominator. Well, to add thirds and fourths together, I need to get a common denominator of 12. So if I multiply this by 3 to get 12, I multiply this by 3, so this is 3 pi twelfths. So we're going to need that because we're going to have to add, get a common denominator. Alright. Looking at how to graph it. Uh, where was I supposed to start? Alright. So we'll say this is negative pi thirds. In terms of 12, that's 4 twelfths. So when we add that together, we'll be at negative pi twelfths. And pi twelfths plus our divisions against 3 pi twelfths. So we'll be at 2 pi twelfths, which is pi six. This is 2 twelfths. Add another 3 to that, and you'll be at 5 pi twelfths. Add it again, and you'll be at uh, 8 pi twelfths, which hopefully we can reduce. And 8 pi twelfths. I may have messed up somewhere. Let me see. 6, 8, 4. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Sorry, I'm doing this on my head. Uh, 8 pi twelfths. So divide 8 by 4, and you get this, and then that. And that's where we should end. So we should be on the right track. And then uh, when you're graphing this, what you need to know is the bookends, the ends. Again, just like tangent, will be undefined values. And we go back and we look at our pattern. So we are graphing, in this case, positive cotangent. So it's going to have positive infinity, absolute value of A, 0. Negative absolute value of A, negative infinity. So this is going to be 0. Our A in this problem is 1. So therefore, that's going to be a positive 1. This will be a negative one. And it's going to go to positive infinity on this side. And on the other side, we're going to go to negative infinity. 
So that's the graph of one of our uh, nice little cycles of our cotage.